he, he tried to preach and he tried to write things that were actually timeless. Uh, yeah, I think, I think definitely he's relevant uh, today and a lot of his sermons still read really well today too. And I can remember loads and loads of these bore and books just lying around. Students could help themselves. We didn't know the value of them in those days. Imagine playing one of those TV quiz game shows and it comes to the Who Am I segment. The host reads out the clues. I was born in England, but moved to the newly formed nation of New Zealand. After my time in New Zealand, I moved to Australia and settled there. I was a councillor to several premiers and prime ministers. My weekly newspaper columns were read by millions. Wherever I spoke around the world, thousands flocked to hear me. I was a member of the prestigious Melbourne Cricket Club. I was awarded an OBE by the young Queen Elizabeth for services to religion and literature. I wrote some 55 books and 3,000 newspaper editorials. I am still today Australia's highest selling author with book sales in the millions. European kings have requested to hold copies of my books while dying. I am Frank William Borum, or F.W. Borum, or F.W.B. But these events, momentous and exciting as they undoubtedly were, did not seriously disturb either my mother or me. We were too much occupied with each other. She was only a girl, and I was her first baby, the first of ten. She and I were thus navigating strange seas and exploring new worlds together.